Hello everybody, welcome back to another brand new Aviation Jack with Joe. I hope you're doing really well. So it is now December. It's my first time filming in December actually. Um, obviously Monday the 13th I'm filming this. Um, but this is a month where we have our Christmas flights. Now this isn't actually a Christmassy flight at all. This is actually just a normal flight. Um, but we are going to be doing some Christmas flights um, leading up to Christmas. As I always do every year. Well when I say every year I mean since last year. Um, but um, yeah, so anyway, but today is not that. So if you've got any Christmas flight ideas, do let me know. I have a few floating around in my head. But um, yeah, apart from that, I hope you're well. hope you're doing good. Um, but yeah, today we're back in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. And we're going to head from Bristol today. Um, look at the new update. Well, it's not actually new anymore, but it is new for me since I haven't flown since it for a while. Go okay, from Bristol up to uh, Belfast. Oh, hello. Oh, no way. That's so cool. Well, we're using this one anyway, so we're going to do easy. I suppose we could do this, but we're doing 441. We're doing this one, so we'll just do that. But that is a cool feature, I can't lie. Um, but anyway, yeah, we are in the 8020 Neo fly by wire. Uh, registration is Golf Uniform Zulu Hotel Alpha, and we're doing Pilot Plus uh, Bristol scenery, and they're going to freeware scenery up in Belfast. Um, it's not the best scenery, obviously, it's freeware, but it will do for the flight. Anyway, let's click Generate Plan and get this flight going. And here we are everyone on our flight from Bristol to Belfast. So let's analyze this really quickly and go through it. So one hour and one minutes en route today, approximately 276 nautical miles, quite a quick short route. Uh, we're departing runway 27 on the Beacon 1 X-ray departure. And it looks like we're going just direct into runway 17 at Belfast on the Bell Zoo. Um, well, it's not really the right, it will be the Star Bell Zoo. Um, and we're going to click export the FMS. Um, here we go to vPilot, just updated vPilot as well. Um, so yeah, here at Bristol, our departure out of here, runway 27, and then obviously we are doing real world time right now, so it is going to be a dark flight. Um, obviously the way back, if I feel like, if it doesn't really work out doing dark flight because it's senior or whatever, we'll do a uh, light, not, oh, sorry, morning time, <laughs> like daytime on the way back, um, if that helps. I mean, I probably will do on the way back daytime, but anyway. Yes, this is the flight along the way. Let's click fly now, and we can connect MSFS. Lovely. Let's quickly check out the meta down here. Here we go. So the meta here is uh, wind is at 180 at 7 knots, um, overcast at 40 feet, um, sorry, 400 feet. And then we have a temperature of 10 degrees and dew point 9 degrees. QNH is 1022. And then that is all we need to know. Cool. So not too bad. I built a bit of weather up here that we must, you know, kind of keep an eye on. Um, but arriving into Belfast, in actual fact, we haven't actually checked that. Uh, EG AA meta. Three knots, not bad at all. Five degrees, four degree G point, um, one zero two zero. Yeah, that's fine. That's all right. Um, cool. So let's leave it there, and I will see you all when we get back into the. Um, I'll see you back in the flight deck. So yeah, let's get into there. All right, everyone. So here we are in the flight deck, not the flight deck. So in the flights in Max of flights from later. Bear in mind, I will be rusty again, obviously, because I have um, not filmed in about a month, maybe even a bit more than that, because I pre-record videos like bunk not bunk uh, like a buckload of them <laughs> and then i don't film for a little while because of that but um yeah as you can see there's a few aircraft dotted around here at bristol um i don't think they're on vatsim actually those aren't the vatsim aircraft are they um no but anyway as you can see we do we are like in dusk now it's a bit of bit of lightness still there um there is no air traffic around either um, or control so not to worry let's get into the cockpit now and we'll start um setting up the flight deck so let's get the battery one on battery two on our popping external power let's get the dome light on turn on some lights in here get the crew supply on uh, we'll get the nav light on as well uh, we'll turn on some lights down here there we go get some lights on wonderful um, and then we can also align the IRS's so IR1, IR2 and IR3 no smoking signs, seatbelt signs, and arm on emergency exit lights, which is good. Come down to the pedestal again, uh, whether it's in uh, in op. You can set this to TA and set this to 2000. Let's make sure we've got all this. Sorry. That's good, cool. 1 to 2 8 is the correct frequency we need to be on. Uh, we'll just brighten up these bits here as well. There we go. Um, QNH1022, as you can see, turn on the fly pad. Um, Oh, I feel like the performance has dipped a bit, you know, can't lie. Um, right, what else do I need to do? Let's kind of start playing the FMC now. Oh, it's like, I've, have I changed the view down here or something? Never used that like this, I don't think. 
Um, FMC, let's go to the init page. Uh, oh, actually, always do this, don't I? We'll do the let me see, menu, at Sue page. I'm not sure what's changed since last time I used it, but I don't think a lot has. Um, we'll do the init. There we go. Initialize data request. Perfect. Um, and then we can do the weather request. I should answer that. Um, weight and balance, we can OFP request send, and it should just do it as an OFP. Oh, that's strange, it hasn't actually done the passengers. Okay. Um, do I do that myself? Back here? So 25. Oh, total passengers, okay. Should we say like 80? Okay. And we'll start boarding. Right, board is going ahead, so do the init page now, and then we can do init request, and it's found it all, which is good. We'll do the flight plan page, Bristol departure, runway 27, and there's a beacon 1 x-ray, and insert that, lovely. And like that, it's so quick and easy, because obviously there's not a lot too much to do, because it is still basic-ish, the aircraft. Um, obviously we still have a few more features coming, everything like that, but... I say, I find a purple light's really weird. Is that true to like real life or something? Because I'm actually not sure. Um, let me just load the flight plan into that sim. Uh, cruising flight level 240. So we can set that into our MCP. Flight level 240. Great. Um, let's head outside for the moment. See what's around. As you can see, it's very cloudy. Quite a low cloud base here. Very interesting departure. We're departing off this runway in this direction over here. And then we'll depart up that way. And then head over to Belfast. But yeah. That's what I've got to say for now until that boarding is completed. So um, actually what I can do is probably check out the fly pad. Do from sim brief. There we go. Gives us our weather here which is always cool. Um, nothing I can really show you. But uh, yeah. So I'll leave it there until the boarding is completed. And I will leave it up just so we know. At to AOC. And then wait a minute. It's cool. And then I will see you then. Bye bye. Everyone. So boarding's just completed, so we're going to get things going now. So we're going to start the APU up and the beacon light, and we'll get things along going on the way. Oh, a bit of rain. I saw a bit of rain then. Let's go to the Perth page, and we'll set in our V1s. Oops. Well, actually, I think we'll do flap 2 out of here. Here we go. And then we'll set our V1s and VRs and V2. Perfect. Perfect. There we go, and then our block fuel is 3.9. Was that the right amount of fuel, do you think? Should be enough, hopefully. Right, that's all good then. 240, let's turn up these screens to the brightest one straight away because they always get really dark when we take off anyway. Here we go. Have I clicked fire now? Yes, I have. Right, let's look at the APU status then. APU is available, APU bleed on. Let's turn on them fuel pumps. Sun power on come off. And then we can get pushback ready. Uh, let's go to the. This is the one we want. Call the tug. Is there a tug here? There it is. We're going to start engine one now. Let's release the parking brake and then we can get ready for pushback. And there we are. A little snazzy wing view on the way out, I think. One that I actually want. There we go. trying to start turning the aircraft. I suppose now should be about good to start turning. Mm. 
never properly judge it because <laughs> you're doing it yourself. Right, engine one's available, Let's start engine two. Okay, that's good enough. We'll stop it there and stop the pushback. There we go. Set the parking brakes and we will get rid of the tug. See you later. Thank you very much. See a bit more now, thankfully. Love the sound of the engine start up, it's so nice. Sounds great. Cool, so that sounds like engine two has just become available. Think. Maybe not just yet. There we go, engine 2 is available. So we're going to set flaps 2 now, bring this back to normal. Ground spoilers armed, max auto brake. Uh, we've already done the runway turn offs. So APU bleed and the APU can also come off. Go full left, full right, full up, and full down. Let's release them parking brakes. We'll put in a bit of thrust. I wish I'd get taxi in 2 runway 27. Oh, what was that? A bit of rain. There we go. It's actually raining. Should put on the wipers. Oh, they're annoying. Yeah, nah. <laughs> Just a bit annoying they are, can't lie. Okay, we're well, landing lights on and strobe lights on as well. Come down here, we'll set this to TARA. Look at that slope on the runway. Nice, so I'll get rid of the dome light. If I can. There we go. Okay, so let's start the clock. Straighten up on the runway. We'll go 50% and do a really quick take off config test. And Mantoga SRS but, uh, runway. One hundred knots checked. V one rotate. Positive climb rate gear up. Oh hello. Look how nice that looks. Lovely. Caught quite the crosswind. Okay, I'll switch autopilot one in now. Go climb thrust. There we go, thrust climb climb. Disarm the ground spoilers. Mm -hmm. 
and flaps up. There we go, start the right turn now. Six thousand feet hold altitude. I'm not really sure if I want to follow it. Just because I really can't be able to follow it. Uh, let's do an open climb to twenty-four thousand feet. They've added more windows on here apparently. Aha, uh -huh, there's one. Could do a bit of switch. Switch up the views for a bit. Oh. Mm, not sure I like that. It's very zoomed out ish. Maybe that's alright, I don't know, it just feels like it's really zoomed. Not bad. Oh, another right turn. Anyway, head back to the flight deck. So just past 10,000 feet, uh, we can turn on the dome light. Uh, let's get rid of the landing lights now, turn them off. Landing lights attracted and take off, sorry, wrong one. God, I can't find the click spots lately. Uh, taxi and takeoff lights. Oh my god. <laughs> off. There we go, finally. Road turn flights off as well. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there, everyone. And I will see you all close to top descent. Hope you enjoy the little views I'm going to do. It's going to look very nice, hopefully. And I will see you all very shortly. Bye bye. So we're going to start planning for the arrival now, coming into Belfast. I'm not too far away, as you can see, we've got enter our destination data. So Belfast arrival, uh, we're doing the ILS 17 um, approach, actually was it 17? I can't remember. It was, wasn't it? Yeah, 17 direct approach, which is good, so no start available. 
Um, so we'll insert this and then we'll do our perf page. Uh, blah, 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 blah. There we are. Um, so the QNH currently in Belfast is, uh, actually, let me do a quick check of that. Meta, I think it's 1020. Yeah, 1020 is the current QNH. Hello. Uh, the temperature is currently uh, 4 degrees. Bruh. And then the wind is 200 at 5 knots. So we'll pop that in. There we go. Oh, what did I do? Oh, that's too many. Not 2,000 at 5 knots, I don't think. Nah. Uh, 200 at 5 knots. Perfect. Go to the flight plan now. Just double check that. Make sure there's no discontinuities, which there's not. This does look strange if you ask me. I'm not sure really how this works. <laughs> We're just going to follow it through here. And then we'll go to Bell Zoo and then just kind of move throw it in ourselves it's really strange what well, i don't know if it's like a bug with a fly-by wire but yeah a really strange routine um anyway until descent which isn't too far away we are stuck in the clouds um i will see you then see you shortly So we are now just uh, passing 6,000 feet and um, I've already got all the correct lights on and everything like that. So we're just going to get ready for landing now. Uh, not too far away from Belfast. As you can see, it's not exactly um, pitch black yet. Uh, here's Belfast. I've, oh, actually, is that Belfast? That might not be. Oh, no, I think it is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, as you can see, it's still just a bit dusky outside. Not quite pitch black just yet. So we have some light upon arrival, hopefully, um, to see a bit better this way. But um, yeah, so the flight so far has been really good actually. Um, the wind's been fine. It has been a bit turbulent over some bits, but aside from that, it's not too bad at all. Um, let's just increase our rate of descent and we're going to get our speed down now as well. So let's reduce speed to 180. And we'll pop out the speed brake to help us with that as well. There we go. Speed brake assistance always needed with me. Just a tiny bit. Um, we'll do medium water break for arrival as well. Just so I'll throw that out there. And speed check flaps one. See flat one dropping now. And go left heading two seven zero. Go three thousand feet. And speed check flaps two. Bring in the spoilers now probably. Should be okay now. There's our runway right there. Probably arm approach as well. We'll just go about two four zero now. We're nine miles out. Reduce one sixty to four DME. So the time we've got to speed down should be eight miles anyway, so should be okay now. I'm hoping for a nice landing. Obviously, I haven't had an aircraft in quite a while, so I'm hoping we're going to get a, at least decent, you know, landing. I suppose we'll find out. I won't be too harsh with myself if we don't have a buttery landing. Well, that's our runway, I'm pretty sure, so need to make sure the aircraft is going to turn left.
Okay, let's go speed check flaps three and gear down. Autopilot disconnected, I have control. Cabin check. Cabin's ready. And we've got the full flaps now, flaps full. Got a crosswind coming in. Eleven knots. Ultimate crabbing right oh hello. Ultimate crabbing right now. <laughs> oh getting blinded by the lights. That wind's just completely shifted there. Versus green D cell. Oh, hello. Oh, no, what's that? Go away. 60 knots. Oh, sorry, 40 knots now. Manual break in. So, how do we get out of here? Is there like a turn in I can take? Yes. The left turn in here. Good. Or is it the left one I want? Yes, it is. Hopefully, we can make it off all that. Good, so now we just taxi all the way down here. Uh, we're currently here. Just taxi through there. It shouldn't be too long, but it's going to be quite quite a lengthy one. Basically, taxi back down the runway again. Pretty much. Right, what was that landing rate? I want to know right now. Minus 157, not too bad. We've seen worse. We've seen much worse. Minus 157 is actually too bad at all. Quite happy with that. Now we'll bring up the flaps. We'll start the APU. And the lights can come off. 
he's not again. There we go. Taxi lights, strobe lights off as well. We want to take this right turn. stop the clock as well that flight was 55 minutes not bad actually oh okay and we've stopped now I'm lost oh uh, what is this oh we've got this a little bit do we this is obviously not what real, real aircrafts obviously do Clearly a taxi route for the smaller GA aircrafts, not me, not big A320s. Right, we're so no, we're not taking off, we've just got a taxi down here to the next turn off. No, it looks like that. Turn off here. Go to any one of these. Let's go to this one here. There we go, and parking brake set, engine 1, engine 2, cut off, external power on, come on as well, um, yep, let it do its thing, there we go, and the fuel pumps can also come off, and then APU off as well, beacon light can come off, and taxi light off as well, lovely, so guys, thank you all so much for watching this video, um, I will see you all in a future next video, which will be back to Bristol, um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Um, I've messed up the camera. There we go. Um, but yeah, landing rate was actually not too bad at all. Um, but much worse. But yeah. Um, any flight requests you guys want to see, including them Christmas Eve flights, do let me know in the comments below. Um, let me know if you want anything changed in videos, anything like that. But apart from that, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the future video. See you soon. Bye bye.